Hello class 10 students this is your teacher and guide Harpreet Kaur from English Frog Club Today I've come back with the second part of the explanation video of the chapter Footprints without feet So why to wait let's dive straight into the explanation of the chapter part 2 So here we go Part, we learnt about how Griffin used his scientific invention of making a human body invisible for a negative purpose. He firstly set his landlord's house on fire and later he looted a departmental store. And then he was he was not it was not enough for him. He just went to a theoretical company and killed the owner just to take away some money and some clothes he needed. So let's see what happens next in the story. What Griffin does after this. Let's see where Griffin goes after this. Eager to get away from crowded London, he took a train to the village of village of Iping, where he booked two rooms at a local inn. Okay, now after from London, London was quite a busy uh, place and he wanted to stay calm. Uh, some uh, for some time then he booked some, uh, two he booked two rooms at uh, a local hotel uh, at in the village Iping. the arrival of a strange man at the inn in winter was in was in any case an unusual event because people never went out to enjoy in winter so his arrival in winter was the first unusual thing that people of Iping noticed. A stranger of such uncommon appearance set the so first thing was this that the time of arrival was uh, strange and the second thing his appearance was not common his appearance was strange so it set the tongues wagging tongues wagging means set all tongues wag set all tongues wagging okay so this expression means it uh, i mean people started talking about people talking about the person okay so everyone in the village started talking about him so the first reason was his arrival at a very strange at a very difficult time of the year and second his appearance okay mrs hall the landlord's wife made every effort to be friendly but griffin had no desire to talk and he told her my reasons for coming to iping is a desire for solitude he said that he wanted to uh, live in uh, solitude that means he wanted to live alone and that is why he is not friendly he doesn't want to talk to people quite often so i do not wish to be disturbed in my work besides an accident has affected my face so he said he has told this story that in an accident he has uh, got his face defaced and he likes to be left alone and not disturbed in his work Satisfied that her guest was an eccentric scientist in a view of the fact that he had paid her in advance. Okay, so she was satisfied that he had got uh, something wrong in his uh, brain. So he was eccentric. He was not a near normal human being. And moreover, she kept quiet also because of the reason she got her payment in advance. And during that time of the year, people do not get visitors in their inns and hotels so for that reason for the sake of money for the sake of earning she had to be quiet mrs hall was prepared to excuse his strange habits and irritable temper but the stolen money did not last long and presently griffin had to admit that he had no more ready cash he pretended however that he was expecting check to arrive at any moment okay so he uh, told the uh, own, uh, mrs hall that he is uh, not having any cash right now with him and he is expecting uh, some money to be sent by someone and this way he will be paying her debts paying her rent, rent and all those things uh, that uh, the rent food etc that he is using in her in 
Shortly afterwards, a curious episode occurred. Very early in the morning, a clergyman and his wife was awakened by noises in the study creeping downwards. They heard the chink of money being taken from the clergyman's text. Now, uh, another strange thing happened in the village was that the clergyman, the holy person of the church, the priest kind of person in the church and his wife were sleeping and some they got up the, uh, by the by hearing the sound of the chink of money. Chink of money means when the coins are just uh, uh, moved and the, that sound is created. So that was uh, that is called the chink of money. So they got uh, they are disturbed they were disturbed in the sleep with this sound and without making any noise with the poker grass firmly in his hand the clergyman flung open the door. So they came to know that there should be someone in study some burglar some robber should be there in the study and he held a poker okay and then uh, poker is uh, an instrument with the, which they keep away the uh, snow etc that is gathered there on the roads or in the yard etc so he held something in order to just uh, uh, in case he feels that uh, his life is into danger he can stab that person or hit that person he just flung open the door and said surrender then to his amazement he realized that the room appeared to be empty and his wife looked under the desk and behind the curtains and even up the chimney there wasn't any sigh of anybody yet the desk had been opened and housekeeping money was missing so they checked everywhere in the room and they could not find anybody but still the money they have kept in the drawer the drawer was open and the money was missing so what did the clergyman say for this he said extraordinary affair the clergyman kept saying for the rest of the day he said it's quite surprising no man but still money isn't there no man money lost whole day he could not come out of this shock and he kept on saying this to people whomsoever he was meeting he was really shocked at all this but it was not an extraordinary as the behavior of Mrs. Hall's furniture a little later that morning. He said this uh, money taking of the money uh, disappearance of the money was not that uh, extraordinary. What happened in Mrs. Hall's inn with the furniture was more interesting, more extraordinary than the disappearance of the money. What happened at Mrs. Hall's inn? Let's just find out by reading this paragraph. The landlord and his wife were up early, very early and were surprised to see the scientist door wide open. Usually it was shut and locked and he was furious if anyone entered in his room. The opportunity seemed to be good and not to be missed. They peeped around the door, saw nobody and they decided to move into and investigate. The bedclothes were cold, showing that the scientist must have been up for some time. And stranger, and the stranger thing, the clothes and bandages that he always wore were lying about the room. So what was strange? I mean, firstly, the door was open, okay, which usually was shut all the time. And then they went in the room, they found that the clothes were, the bed clothes were cold as if nobody was there in the bed for a long, for, uh, for a recent time, as if there was nobody in the bed. And then they found that the, all the things he used to, all the things he used to wear were lying here and there in the room, the bandages, the coat, the hat and everything. And they were very surprised. They, they couldn't digest this thing, you know. Now let's see what happens when they were in the room. What happens at that time? All of a sudden, Mrs. Halls heard a sniff. What is sniff? Sound created when you are smelling something or just, uh, I mean, when you are uh, uneasy, suffering from cold, you keep on 
trying to just adjust your nose for that so she heard that sniff close to her ear a moment later the hat on the bed post leapt up and dashed into her face the bedroom chair became alive alive means that it start it was raised up no one was there but the bedroom chair was in the air and when then bedroom chair just banged her at her back she was very surprised she was in a shock now let's see why she was in a shock then the bedroom chair became alive springling into the air it charged straight at her legs foremost and she and her husband turned away in terror the extraordinary chair pushed them both out of the room and then appeared to slam the lock and lock the door after that so that chair just pushed them out of the room and the door was slammed okay and it was locked also that was really surprising how that chair could do all this thing mrs halls now what had happened to mrs hall we can well imagine i mean it's really becoming interesting to read this chapter let's see what was the reaction of mrs hall Mrs Hall almost fell down the stairs in hysterics she was convinced that the room was haunted by spirits and that the stranger had somehow caused do these to enter into her furniture so first thing when nobody can be seen is people are superstitious they think of some ghost uh, some spirit etc so the same thing was there with mrs hall she also thought that her for uh, that the scientists had put some spirits she uh, she has the scientists had put some spirits in her furniture and the furniture is behaving strangely her own furniture is hitting her this is what she was wasn't able to digest my poor mother used to sit in that chair she moaned to think it should rise up against me now she couldn't digest this thing it was really difficult her to uh, uh, to just grasp what she has seen in the room right uh, just a few moments ago a feel the feeling among the neighbors was that the trouble was called by witchcraft witchcraft is some magic that is done by witch but witchcraft or not when news of bulgari at the clergyman's home became known the strange scientist was strongly suspected of having had a hand in it suspicion grew even stronger when the when he suddenly produced some ready cash though he had not admitted not long before that he had no money previous day only he said that he doesn't have the money and no money order no check had arrived in the end and then uh, suddenly he produced money and uh, everything uh, i mean people became suspicious that he had stolen the money from the clergy's house and this way uh, he uh, people were looking at him with suspicious eyes the village constable was strictly sent secretly sent for so they called the village constable to arrest him as they were suspecting him to be the thief who had stolen the money at the clergy's house mrs hall went to the scientist who had somehow mysteriously appeared from his empty bedroom okay so she went to her i want to know what you have been doing to my chair upstairs she demanded and i want to know how it is you came out of an empty room and how you entered a locked room she said that i just want to know how you managed to enter in a locked room and how you came from an empty room when no when you were not there in the room how could you come out of that and how what have you done to her chair all these things she wanted to know the scientist was always quick tempered now he became furious furious angry you don't understand who or what i am he shouted very well i'll show you suddenly he threw off his bandages his whiskers his spectacles even the nose it took his no as it took him only a minute to do so the horrified people in the bar found themselves staring at a 
headless man okay so now let's have a look at this picture so he is removing as soon as he is removing his bandages and his head was becoming invisible and all the people who were there in the bar they were quite surprised to see this headless man in mrs hall's inn mr jeffers the constable now arrived and was quite surprised to find that he had to arrest a man without a head but jeffers was not easily prevented from doing his duty he said head or no head seen or not seen he is going to perform his duty so if the magistrates warrant ordered a person's arrest then that person had to be arrested with or without head so jeffers was uh, jeffers were was quite uh adamant quite uh, confirmed that he would be arresting the thief as he had got the magistrate's uh, papers in his hand the order of magistrate to arrest him there followed a remarkable scene as the policeman tried to get hold of a man who was becoming more and more invisible as he threw off one garment after another finally a shirt flew into the air and the constable found himself struggling with someone he could not see so gradually griffin removed his clothes and once again he had become invisible okay so and jeffers the constable found him struggling with a person to whom he was not able to see some people tried to help him but found themselves hit by blows that seemed to come from nowhere now they were not able to see uh, that man griffin they were not able to see griffin but yet whosoever was trying to hold him like they could just feel that something is there as uh, he was hard his body was still hard though his body was transparent but his body was still hard okay so if somebody just tried to catch like we just uh, uh, you can well imagine uh, uh, how the people must be feeling at that time and they were getting a blow a blow here or there okay and uh, griffin was uh, full of fury and uh, he wanted to he started knocking the people in the end jeffers was knocked unconscious knocked unconscious now what do you mean by knocked unconscious okay he was made unconscious with the blows and other things that griffin did with him as he made a last attempt to hold on the unseen scientist there were nervous excited cries of hold him but this was easier said than done griffin had shaken himself free and no one knew where to lay hand on him now griffin was invisible and i mean although they were just shouting hold him hold him catch him but they were not knowing where to catch and what to hold okay so that is all in this excited story and uh, the story is about a scientist who used his invention such a great invention he did but he used it for a wrong in a wrong manner and the story also gives us an inspiration that people who are capable of doing wonders to do, uh, who are capable of doing some uh, making impossible into possible should be using it in a positive manner should be using their at uh, inventions in positive manner and it should be for the benefit and that's all in the explanation video of this chapter footprints without feet and i hope that i was able to tell you narrate you the story in a very interesting manner that you enjoyed and you also learned some new phrases and understood the chapter very well so i hope to meet you in the next videos of my explanation series for class 10th and and wait i have many videos on grammar writing and other aspects of the language that you require to crack the exam so do watch do keep visiting my channel and do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet do like and share my videos 
Bye for now students. Thanks for being there with me. Bye for now.